Welcome to a series of lectures on diffraction and now we are going to discuss diffraction part 2 for BSc 4th sem students in paper 4 by Ms. A. Shirley Jones, Associate Professor and Head of the Department of Physics of VB Sangha's Virasheva College, Balari. In diffraction part 2, we are going to discuss the theory of zone plate the comparison between zone plate and convergent lens. Well, what is a zone plate? A zone plate is an optical device that works on the principle of Fresnel's zone. Earlier, we have seen in explaining diffraction, Fresnel gave two assumption. In the first assumption, he says that the wavefront is divided into a large number of zones of small area such that each of these zones act as a source of secondary waves emitting waves in all direction. Now the points to remember in Fresnel zones are number one the effect at any point due to adjacent zones cancel with each other. But the effect due to either even or odd zones is blocked if at any point then the total effect is due to only alternate zones having path difference of lambda has a maximum value. That means the effect due to either even or odd zones if blocked at any point then the total effect is only due to alternate zones. Now a zone plate is a transparent plate, transparent plate which allows light through only one set of alternate zones of the wavefront to pass through it. Well, let me come again. What is a zone plate? It is a transparent plate which allows light through only one set of alternate zones. That means either odd or even of a wavefront to pass through it. Now, how to construct a zone plate? The principle used in constructing a zone plate R, R is the radius of the Fresnel zone is proportional to root n where n is 1 or 2, 3 etc. Well, what is the principle? The principle is the radii of Fresnel zones in a zone plate are proportional to root 1, comma, root 2, comma, root 3, etc. Now, let us take a drawing sheet and concentric circles are drawn with the radii proportional to root 10. Now, the alternate zones are painted black and a photograph of the pattern is taken. On developing, we get a negative, a reduced pattern. This film has alternate zones transparent, allow the light and the remaining alternate zones are opaque. Now there are two kinds of zone plates. Number one, positive zone plate. Number two, negative zone plate. Well, what is a positive zone plate? A zone plate is said to be positive zone plate which has odd zones transparent and even zones opaque. What is a positive zone plate? A zone plate in which odd zones are transparent and even zones are opaque is known as a positive zone plate. And the negative zone plate is that zone plate in which even zones are tran transparent and odd zones are opaque. So, these are positive zone plate and negative zone plate. Now, 
Now let us understand what is the theory of a zone grid. For that, let us consider an imaginary transparent plate AB perpendicular to the plane of the paper as shown in the figure. Let S be a point source of monochromatic light, giving out spherical waves of wavelength lambda. Draw SP perpendicular to the plane AB and produce it up to the point O. Let us assume that we want to find out the resultant effect at the point O on the screen placed perpendicular to the plane of the paper with P as center. Now, draw with P as center. Imagine the plate AB to be divided into circular half period zones with radii equal to PM1, PM2, PM3, etc. So in the figure if you see SM1 plus M1O is equal to SP plus PO plus lambda by 2. Similarly SM2 plus M2O is equal to SP plus PO plus 2 lambda by 2. Like that we can write SMN suffix N plus MNO is equal to SP plus PO plus N into lambda by 2. Now, to determine the radius Rn of the nth circle, consider the relation Smn plus Mno is equal to Sp plus Po plus N into lambda by 2. Let Sp be equal to A and Po equal to B. Then you can write Smn is equal to S square root of Sp square plus Pm square that is equal to square root of A square plus R in square. Therefore, SM1 <coughs> sorry SMN is equal to A into brackets 1 plus R in square by A squares under square root that is equal to A into brackets 1 plus R in square divided by 2A square and that would be finally equal to A plus Rn square by 2A. <coughs> Therefore, M and O, which is equal to square root of PO square plus PM and square, that's equal to, put PO is equal to B. That's equal to square root of b square plus r n square. That's equal to b plus r n square by 2b. Call it as equation 2. Now, substi substituting for smn and mno, we get a plus r n square by 2a plus b plus r n square by 2b is equal to a plus b plus n lambda by 2. Solving, we get r n square into 1 over a plus 1 over b is equal to n lambda or Rn square is equal to n lambda into AB by A plus B, where A, B and lambda are constant. Therefore, we can write Rn square is proportional to square root of n. Now, the area of the nth zone can be written as you know, area is equal to pi r square. Therefore, the area of the nth zone equal to pi into r n square minus r suffix n minus 1 square. Substituting, we get pi into n lambda a b by a plus b minus n minus 1 lambda a b divided by a plus b. Solving, we get this area of the nth zone is equal to pi lambda a b divided by a plus b. Thus, we see the area of the nth zone is independent of the order n. This is the main point. The area of the nth zone is independent of the number n. This means that 
For the given positions of the point source yes and its image O, the area of all the zones remains practically constant. All areas are constant. The amplitude at O, M1, M2, M3, etc. due to various zones decreases very slightly with the order of the zones and are alternately in opposite phase. The resultant amplitude is given by A is equal to M1 minus N2 plus N3 minus M4 plus etc. etc. equal to M1 by 2. Now, if a monochromatic light from X is allowed to fall on this zone plate and the emergent light is received on a screen, then for a certain value of B, the hypothetical half period elements of the incident wave from may coincide with the actual elemental areas of the plate. In such a case, if even numbered elements are made opaque, then the resultant amplitude is given by, remember, even number elements are made opaque, then amplitude, the net amplitude is given by A is equal to F1 plus M3 plus M5. This value is many times greater than that due to all the zones. This means that a zone plate has a focusing action. Under this condition, O can be said to be the image of yes. Now, consider the equation 4 and which can be rearranged to write like this 1 over A plus 1 over B is equal to M lambda by Rn square. We know that Rn square and N are related. Now, comparing this equation with the lens formula, we have 1 over V image distance plus 1 over U object distance is equal to 1 over F the focal length. Therefore, comparing these two equations, 7 and 8, we get 1 over F is equal to N lambda by Rn square or F is equal to Rn square divided by N lambda. Now, this equation gives the value of the first order focal length of the zone plate. Now, the zone plate has definite focal length and the formula is Rn square divided by N lambda. Thus, a zone plate also converges the wavefront to a point. This action is also done in a convex lens, which is a convergent lens. So, let us see the comparison between a zone plate and a convex lens. Now, in a zone plate, odd zone transparent, odd zone transparent zone plate produces real image. That means in a zone plate, odd zones which are transparent produces a real image on the opposite side of the plate. But in a convex lens, it produces a real image of the object on the other side of the lens. That's all. Second one is, it shows chromatic aberration as the focal length depends on lambda. Here also in convex lens, we have chromatic aberration, that is distortion, as the focal length depends upon lambda. Now, the third comparison is for a given wavelength lambda, zone plate has different foci given by the equation 9. A convex lens has a single focal length for a given wavelength given by the formula. One over f is equal to one over u plus one over v. The fourth one is intensity of the image decreases with the order of the focal length. Here in a convex length, intensity does not depend on the focal length. And the last one, in a zone plate, the red focus is nearer 
the red focus is nearer to the plate than the violet. In convex lens, the violet focus is nearer to the red focus. That is, in a zoom plate, FR is less than FV and in a convex lens, FV is less than FO. These are the main um, comparisons between a zoom plate and a convex lens. Let us see further in the next lecture. Thank you.